Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pacific Drive, shall we? Alex, good evening, good to see you. So, I'm playing for the first time with the most recent updates, and I was looking at the notes, and they told me that they were going to put up a screen like this. I didn't know when it was going to trigger, but here it is, right when I'm just booting up the game. It says they've changed some elements of the saving, which is fantastic for me um it's not as good as it i want it to be but it's very it's a it's so much better than it was so um the game saves when you know load into a new level you can save during a trip by leaving the current level triggering a save um manual save is available in the pause menu from the garage you can also abandon your trip from the pause menu um to return to the garage triggering penalties and to save there are options in the settings to modify these penalties so well maybe i read the patch notes wrong but i'm pretty sure they added some way for you to like if you have to just leave the game you can basically warp back to the garage and keep all of your items and save the game but then you have to start the level again kind of a thing so you don't leave with any anchor i don't think or any of that but you would leave with the resources that are in your um, containers. I'm, maybe I'm misunderstanding that. I mean, because it's like by leaving the current level, that's the key that's creepy about it. Like, I'll see what it's like in the field, but you can't leave the level unless you go through a gate. So I, I don't know what they mean by, by that exactly. But anyway, um, here we are. So they also added a way for you to be able to... Uh, I think it's right here, this button. Yeah, you can close the garage. Yes. Oh, I see, Alex. <laughs> hey, hey, Nick Man. All right. So, yeah, we can open and close the garage if we like. I don't... Um, it's interesting. I'm so glad that they seem to respond to a lot of the community's concerns. One of the concerns was... Check this out. Um, you know, I freaked out about this when I was playing, and um, let's see here. Right. I don't know if you guys remember in my Let's Play, but the failed run penalty, it says lose some items. That used to be the language, and it was, like, completely misleading. They've changed it to the default setting is lose most items, and this is what happened to me. And if I would have known up front, I would have been a little bit different. So I really like that they are listening to... Um, I know they're listening to me. They're, like, watching these videos. They're really, really just with bated breath anticipating my release and changing everything that I mentioned. It's so fantastic. Um, just kidding. But they clearly are, like, other people had um, some complaint. It, it is semantics, but lose, but just tell me, if it, if somebody was like, well, you lose some stuff when you die, or you lose most stuff when you die, that's beyond semantics. That's a, that's a categorical difference in the definition of what we're talking about. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, because um, some is like, um, yeah, right, exactly, Devin. Yeah, exactly. What's the difference? <laughs> um, some is is ambiguous and it generally when we say some we do not imply more than half um like we lost some people today we don't mean 75 percent you know you can mean that but that's that's not generally what we expect this is much clearer when you say like there's no ambiguity when you say lose most items this means you're losing most of your items and i totally understand that um so i like that they changed this and then um, abandon, save, quit penalty. Um, yeah, exactly, Nick. Man, that's what I. Th that's what about where I'm at, right? Whereas most is like, you know, you're thinking seventy five to uh, to almost a hundred percent. Like you're thinking a lot. Yeah, something like that. So I think it is a a nice change. Um, so let's see here. So this is abandoned trip penalty. So I could set it to this. Um, yeah, no, 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 Devin. You, I, I got you. I got you. Um, so this is what I might do. I never, I've never abandoned a trip. 
Um, but I think I might have it like this, where just in my life, if I ever have to just leave, like if I have to just immediately, like something has to get taken care of, I will do this so I can keep my stuff and then have to restart the run. So keep all items on abandoned trip. Um, abandoned save quit penalty. Maybe actually that's what I want. Abandoned save quit. This one. Um, okay, that seems fair. All right, great, great, great. Siloom, good evening. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, did I change it? <laughs> Let me make sure I actually changed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. All right. Okay, so um, I love that they're updating the game. It seems like they've made a lot of cool changes, and I'm excited about that. And let's go ahead and check out our car. Um, the battery is horrifying. It's fixed. Uh, we need some repair putty. The car itself is 75%. That's I'm actually okay with 75%. This door is bad, but we can... Let's see if we have a steel door on standby. All right. What you got in here? Steel door? Steel panel. There's a steel door. Okay. So I'm going to quick swap this out and fix it. Put this back in here. Wonderful. Um, looks like we got a fax. A newsflash Olympia from 1969. Washington biologist and bear expert Paul Dean says he knows why the animals are no longer present on the Olympic Peninsula, though his bizarre theories and disruptive behavior have landed him in hot water. Bursting into a legislative session in the the Capitol building this morning, Dean insisted that a conversation he had with a pod of orca had Revia Orca Aorca. Um, yeah. Okay. Orca. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. It's the same thing. Uh, all right. Here's my trunk. And let me just check my car, make sure it's empty. It is not. Let's empty it. No, pick it up. All right. So I'm wondering if I could just head straight and try to get to the mid zone tonight. You know, like maybe I'm at a reasonable enough point to get there. I'm, I'm also going to put some stuff away. I'm putting away the anchor radar. Um, I'll keep the liberator and just keep pretending like it's going to be useful. But for now, um, I'm going to put this anchor radar away. I've never used it. I don't anticipate using it. Um, put all this stuff away. Put that away. Okay. Uh, transfer trunk has an extra crowbar and some flares. <laughs> Apparently, Siloom, he's bears. It, he likes big animals. You know, he's like, it's got to be big. Rodents, no thank you. It's got to be enormous. All right, and let's see. Is there anything I can unlock over here? How am I doing? I have 9.5 stable. Let's look at what's available. Um, I could build a side battery. if I, Maybe if that lets, allows you to have, like, just more charge. The turbo light engine, but I don't have enough stuff for that. The hydro generator, what is this? Um, it's not simply that energy from raindrops is being converted into electricity. It's that acid and heavy metals sometimes present within the zone's rainfall are also being utilized. So don't drink the water. Oh, so this lets you just get electricity from the rain. That seems pretty cool. This, um... Allows you to get some extra capacity for your battery. And then this thing... Um, is using a large propeller to capture wind energy a kind of janky concept? It could be. Does it look just a little amateur? It might. But does it work? Great, Scott, it certainly does. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Um, I think I want, 
insulated uh, doors and panels, though. Hydro and wind turbine are important. Okay, great. Well, then let's get one of those. I want to get insulated doors. <laughs> exactly, Siloam. Um, and then, here, go back to available. And can I get an insulated panel? Um, not this. Nice, Cody. That is sick, my friend. Congrats. All right. Uh, then I'm going to go for the... Mm, I like the idea of the hydro generator. I feel like it's always raining, but maybe not. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for telling me. Well, let me see if I can even build this stuff and if I can put it on my uh, car, first of all. So the insulated door takes steel sheets, which I can make. And I actually like the idea of this. So these things, let me see what they've got. Um, health 60, electrical resistance 15. Oh, they're just, it's also just better than the steel door. I didn't think it was better in that way, but it is. Okay. Hey, Jokers. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Now, that is pretty sweet looking. How are we doing in here? I got a bunch of extra steel stuff. I might need to just start disrupt, like uh, dismantling this so that I can just get some parts back. Yeah, it does look stylish. It, look at the cables, like, hooked up to it. I mean, the game just looks fantastic. Love the art design in this. Okay. And then... Let me see if I can make any of the stuff that I had just picked up. Alright, so... Uh, lightning Rod I do want. But Hydro Generator, let's see if we can get this thing going. I don't have an extra side panel, so I might need to build that. Um, I have the Lightning Rod already. Okay. Yeah, I'll need to build another rack, like a side rack or whatever. I agree, Devin. Oh, Jokers, congrats, my friend. I am really thinking about pulling the trigger on Dragon's Dogma 2. Let, um, let me know how it is, my friend. The side inventory. Yeah, um, I think I have two of them. <laughs> so, um, oh, I forgot that I even have stuff in it. Um, my PC is okay. I'm hoping that my graphics card can do the heavy lifting. There we go. I put that on there.
I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I hope that's sufficient. All right. Uh, this decal goes what here? Yeah, I might need to upgrade. I think I have two twelves and two fours for some reason. Maybe. I'm not sure about that. Or maybe I just... I can't remember what I've got. I got 32 total. <laughs> um, oh no, that doesn't go there. Goes in here. There we go. Uh, this crowbar is so close to dead. You know, I got this extra storage here I keep forgetting, so I got stuff in here. Now let me put this in the fax machine. I have four total sticks in there, Alex. All right. Um, I think they're all equal, though. Yeah, I think I have four eights. Undead works. What's up, my friend? The plan is to try to get into the mid zone. All right. Um. Let's see. I got this paint. Ow! I keep putting it on the wrong thing. Good God. I'm just going to go destroy this pry bar. All right. And then... Get a new pry bar. Yeah, it really would. It would be expensive, which is why I haven't done it. I'd need to get four 16s or something. Okay. Yeah, this thing should go to a car show. It looks sweet, right? All right, and I got um I got my hydro generator on there. Let's see if I could build any extra side panels. Now, I think I'm full up. So I have the auto parker. I have this. I might need to um research it. Actually. That's true. I could just get 232. You're right. I'm going crazy, everybody. I want to make this car beautiful. With insulation. I... I have found personally, and this might just be me, but I have found that I get wrecked by uh, electricity. Mining, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. Uh, I have DDR three or four, I think. Y 
Yes, exactly. I have it written down what my speed is. I used it to buy my last memory. Um, okay. My vacuum must have broken. I'll make another one. <laughs> you should you you got that right. There should totally be that. All right. I'm doing a lot of car work to start out, but this is good. Yeah, I keep all of my motherboard... Like, when I built my PC, I have a box for my motherboard. It's an Asus that just has, like, all of the specs and instructions for every component and the motherboard itself that I have to go look at every time I need to update something. Oh, cool, Devin. Well... You know what? I mean, I'm just going to be perfectly honest with you all. It's been so long since I've bought memory. Um, I think it was two years ago was the last time I bought RAM. So I don't know, like, what the prices are. No, that's too expensive. It needs to be twenty. Twenty dollars. I know, Undead. Wouldn't that be amazing? I, th I actually saw an article that they hooked up the first person to Neuralink today or something like that. I mean, we're not getting that far away from it. Yep, if you're going to build a whole new PC, that's about where we're at, isn't it? Now we are looking real good, people. All right, I got a few panels here. I'm getting crazy. I saw that too, Devin. Isn't that awesome? He's like, all right, I'm going in. I'm playing Civilization. <laughs> I, bet e I bet Elon Musk was like, yep. Like He's like, well, I wish you would have played Diablo, but that's fine. Dude, this car is looking legit. One more panel and we're good. Oh, I don't have enough stuff. Oh, no, wait. I had just enough. Isn't that funny, Nick, man? I was listening to stuff about that, too. The the update that they're making for Diablo 4. It sounds like they're basically just taking um, Last Epoch's itemization. They're like, yep, we're going to do that. Which is great. Like, honestly, I'm glad about that. I know, Devin. I keep, like, I'm holding out. Like, I'm excited that maybe they'll, you know, 
do something good with it. Yeah, that's true, but I hear that they buffed um, the power level that you get from new items, so hopefully that's good. Uh, let's see here. So where are we at? We are at... We need one more panel. I don't know if I can get there. Because I don't have any copper wire or plasma. Okay. Well, we'll get there. We're so close. The whole car is basically done. Yeah, they, they tried to streamline all those, like, ultra-specific stats that, that meant nothing. Like, you know, you're close to the enemy within five meters and you do extra damage, weird stuff like that. Okay. Let me put my stuff away. I might need more locker. Didn't I expand my storage one more time? Let me see if I did that or not. I thought I built some more storage but i don't even know where it went i think you could put stuff in here but i don't know if it draws i don't think it draws from it i'll put it in the transfer trunk that's some expanded storage oh no i'm good okay it does draw from that okay thank you alex perfect all right so let's plan our route everybody i've done a lot of car work let's go for it Okay, great. That's so great. Um, I haven't been here. And this looks like it's right by the wall, and I haven't been here. So this is an extreme condition zone, though. So do you think... I mean, this is actually where they want me to go. Hey, Sherlock, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. No, I need to go right here. Yeah, it says right here will connect me, so this is where I need to go. I agree, Devin. I think I look really, really good. Um, we The only thing we might want is some repair putty, but we have everything else. So, can I craft one putty? I sure can. Put it in there. Let's go. Oh, is it pump? Gas tank's not full. We're good. Look at this ride. Oh, no, that's right. I don't need to use that anymore. I did see it move. Isn't that awesome? When I sat down in it. Oh, fix the quirk. Yeah, I'll do it next time. I'll try to pay attention to what it actually is. Um, all right, we're going to go here. So I guess we have to go here first. Yeah, this looks the best. So we're going to go right through this zone. All right. Junction conditions, malfunctioning mess. All right, let's just get out of here then. We're here. We need to go down here. So there's really no stability here. I'm just going to go straight for the way out. We're going to go south. Uh-oh. Uh, we 
we got some problems here. I'm going to avoid this. Oh, that, that anomaly is just a speed booster? It looked so dangerous. I was like, it's clearly bad. Let me scan it then. Did I scan this guy? Glittering boulder. Oh, okay. I already know what this is. Oh, I'm going so fast. You're right. Yeah, okay. Cool. That's hilarious. We're in. Take that convenience store. Hey, Rennie, good evening. This game is an extraction roguelike in a science, like a supernatural Pacific Northwest. It's driving a car, souping it up, trying to get good stuff, blowing up mannequins. You can't slow down until it's done. That's probably why I never hit one of those things. Alright. Did you guys give me any thermo sap or what? It doesn't look like it. That's messed up. I mean, just look at this car. You know you've got yourself a nice ride. Heathrun, good evening. I know. It's a skeleton car. It makes the most sense. All right, so let me stop for a moment, look at the old map. Yep, we're going the right way. Yes, undead. There's no animals or alien, like, zombies or anything, but the environment are the threats, and it can be really bad. There's anomalies. There's, like, uh, a, these kind of, like, robot guys. There's bunnies. There's mutated weird things. There's radiation. Um, there's buzz saws that drive through the ground. There's platforms that rise up from the ground. There's geysers of water. It gets pretty wild. I am not going the right way. Yeah, the bobblehead is hilarious, isn't it? Yeah, you see that buzzsaw off, off in the forest? That's, uh, don't drive your car on that is my tip. Free tip. The red line is where they, I almost drove on it, is where they go. There's good bunnies and there's bad bunnies, Rennie. See these, like, floating rocks? That's usually a sign of not good. And then there's the crash test dummies, the tourists. We're going to go through here. Okay. Or this. These electrical walls that rise up. Pretty much. Oh, 
Oh, my tire is flat? Oh, you're right. Okay, let's fix it. Alright, so this tire is flat. Ceiling kit, sure. Kick it for an achievement? Oh, okay. I must have already kicked it. Fixed it. Oh, kicked a tourist. But won't it blow up and kill me? Oh, okay. My bumpers are actually in worse shape. I forgot to repair those. If you back up fast enough. Oh. Okay. Sure, I could do that. Alright, I'm going to try this for the achievement, everybody. So you can kick with the X button. Kick a tourist. I did. I got the achievement. And it didn't blow up. Too much carbs. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Yeah, it didn't even explode. I guess... I know, isn't that awesome? <laughs> Undead, it's like... Yep, that's right. You just need a little um, shellac, and you put that on there, and it's done. Uh-oh, got a storm coming in. Let's get out of here. Exactly, Devin. It's a cosmetic. You can change your steering wheel to a, a spaceship steering wheel. It's pretty sweet. All right, we're going to need to cut right back. Um, I'm going to have to go through the storm briefly. I believe I turn right here. Yeah. Like this, and then I cut right back. Here we go. We're out. That's funny. That makes sense. Alex. Alright, uh, we're going to go to the next zone. So what we're going to pray for here is that we actually have a zone with some stability where I can loot a few things. But I'm not too worried about it because I have a long way to go. I have to make, I think, four connections. All right, so I'm here, and I need to go here. I'm going to, because I want to actually make it to mid-zone. Okay, battery sapping the Warrens. All right, that's not ideal. Okay, maybe my hydro... Let me actually pause it. Let me, or stop. Let me look at my battery charge, and then the hydro guy should be getting... It's raining, so I should be getting some charge. All right, we need to take a left at this next intersection. I got the wipers going. Uh-oh. 
you see these pillars it's getting ugly oh okay it doesn't passively drain you okay great good to know uh, there's some lights over here this is good if you want a bunch of lead I suppose Electrical parts, stuff like this. We'll get some lead. We might be happy about this. Okay. I know that this is a spoilery question before I even ask it, but when you get to the mid zone, are you able to just make like a a one jump access to the mid zone, or do you always have to go like four or five connections to get there? Put it away. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's a good point, Carbs. Thank you. There's a lead bar up there, too. There it is. Okay. All right, so we're on the right path. All right, it fried me, but my car should handle that pretty well. This panel back here got some damage on it. It's not dead, though. Uh-huh. Oh. Thank you, Heath Run. I have to decide if I want to pull the trigger on that or just wait. Is Dragon's Dogma 2 coming to any consoles or is it PC only? PS5? Oh, but it doesn't run well? Darn. Usually I like to buy stuff, actually. Oh, God. Um, on PS5 because it runs well. Like, most stuff runs well on PS5, and then I don't have to worry about, um, like, if I want to stream it, it doesn't use my computer power at all the PS5 so I can have all energy into that part of it mm -hmm. I don't have an Xbox well this is just a tad inconvenient electrical guy I'm really close to getting out of here though Oh, 
Are they charging 70 bucks for, uh, or... Okay, then. All right, we're almost there. I'm sure the devs will give me a free copy. Capcom loves me. Alright, so here we are. Turn off the wipers. Man, these are all like extreme condition junctures. They didn't look like it when I was making this trip, but maybe that's just part of the mid-zone fun. Um, Alright, so... Oh, do I have to grab anchors? I thought I was on my way... to the next zone. Maybe I didn't look at that right. All right, well. You grab anchors, okay. Let's go. Turn on them lights. Woo. Yeah, I'm gonna get this small one then head to the bigger ones. It's hard to see in this zone. How close am I? Uh, not close. I missed the road. There's like an exploding barrel. Let me get around that and then... Here it is. Yeah, it sure does, and then it's also like the road is covered with debris. Sometimes it's hard to see it. I think I got that quirk again where I, the, if I t turn the steering wheel, the lights dim. All right. Um. I shot that guy off with my limb pulse. There's an abductor turning the lights off. Turning the car off. Oh, he got the, uh, the abductor went after the bunny. Or whatever. That's funny. All right, well, now it's back to get, needing a flashlight. I've got flares. Let me get my uh, relightable flare. Haven't had to use this bad boy in a bit. No, you know what it was, was I had a flashlight. I'm going to open my door. I think this is it right here. Got it. I cannot see. All I can see is my, um, shooting star. <laughs> now, now. Oh, he, get, it's the bunny. Alright, um, we got abductor problems. 
Okay. So let me look at the old map here. Let's go to this anomaly, or try to. I don't see a road up there to that anchor. We definitely need ET's help. Oh man, look how far we have to fill up that. Oof. I'll try to make it. I'm hurt, so I'm going to eat some food. All right, here we go. Charge it up. I'm just going to try to glide. All right, go. Yeah, I mean, I got to say, it's really hard to see. And an abductor me making it so I can't use my headlights is a problem. All right, I'm going to stop. Turn off the wipers. Get out. Oh. Turn out the headlights. Let's get the treasure chest. My gate is open. Thank you. Let me get that. All right. Gate is definitely open. All right, let me dump in all my stuff. And this looks good. Okay. And here we are. We need to kind of go to the northeast to get to this anchor. So I'm going to try to make it. Of course, there's an abductor rolling around over there. It might be a situation where I just leave my car right here and go on foot. I'm thinking about it. Wrap these up. We need all the parts we can get. That's what people are saying about Dragon's Dogma 2. Six months for patches in the sale. Well, I'm good with the sale. I'm going. How close am I? Oh, I don't have a map. That's right. I don't have a map without my uh, my car. Oh, wow, they put in microtransactions. Well, microtransactions don't really bother me if they are cosmetic. I don't care about that at all. Um, runs like crap is what I care about. That. And I don't understand what you mean you can't make new characters. Like, you mean the characters are stock-built, like in Baldur's Gate? Oh, you can't change a character without spending money to change its appearance or something? That's strange. Yeah. And that's just a, I mean, that's just fundamentally a problem of AAA titles uh, anymore is that they spend too much money making the game. So the only way feasibly for these massive venture capital groups that back these games to get their money back is by baking in a microtransaction system. Like, it's just so unfortunate. If the if they make the game worse, well yeah, that's a problem. Uh oh.
Uh, I might die. I didn't think it was going to be this dangerous. Alright, it's a little hard to see, but we're going to make it. I have a first aid kit on me. I'm just running in the direction of my car. You can kind of see it. The abductor will steal the anchor. All right, well, let's try to prevent that from happening if possible. Okay. Yeah, I guess for me, what I meant with cosmetics is like, you know how if you, if you buy like some new PC game and there's like the collector's edition that's like 10 bucks more and it gets you like a skin or something... That, I don't care. Like, fine, whatever. I, I will just buy the regular version. But if it is, you know, pay to win or something, well, that's not what I want. <laughs> Heath Run, thank you so much, my friend, for the super chat. We made it, Heath Run. Barely. All right, we're going this way. Yeah, if that happens, Nick, man, that's terrible. Like, I like Path of Exile a lot, and it's got... You know, you can spend hundreds of dollars on cosmetics and, you know, stuff in that game. And I don't... That doesn't bother me too much. All right. Yeah, Joshua, they really are. It, 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 but it's crazy, like, you know, you have a game like this, which is like 30, 35 bucks, has no microtransactions. And it's amazing. Like, they might put in, you know, a DLC or something, but, oh boy. I am driving in a dangerous fashion through the forest. Or enshrouded, or, you know. Go! Oh. Yeah, Last Epoch is doing a great job. Capitalism for the win, Heath Run. You got it. Yes, exactly. Bellatro, Vampire Survivors. There's so many, like, just amazing games that are small teams nice and affordable alright I need to get back on the road this is killing me uh, how close are we yeah we're getting there Oh, no, I'm with you, um, Alex. I haven't purchased a single microtransaction. I think I actually got Last Epoch for free as well. All right, um... Okay, there's stuff around me. Let me stop. So, this is how much stability I have, right up to the line there. We're doing okay. Um, there's a, some stuff inside here, which I want. But I need to look at my car. I have some issues with some of this stuff. 
Actually, we're okay for the most part. It's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, I think we are fine. I'm going to go in here. Oh, it's a charge shop. Okay, great. Man, Arta Crate. Nice. Oh, do I have some damage I need to check out? Let me look at it. Oh, left front tire. Thank you. Okay. So let me go up here before I break this, but I know I want this plasma. I used like all of my plasma to make my uh insulated doors bink all right uh you want bulbs for electronics Nah, I'm not really. Pressed about that right now. I only have a few bulbs anyway. It does sound like a good idea, except I don't have har I have hardly any bulbs. Ceiling kit. Can I make a ceiling kit? I sure can. Bam. All right, let me put my stuff back. Looks good. Here, go here. I can't make a... Oh, I can make a relatable flare. Perfect. All right, I need to back up. It's about to go out. This tire needs to be scrapped and replaced. My off-road tire? Why is that? Oh, I didn't know that. Is, does it keep does the game keep track of that somewhere like how many times it's been flat how are you how do you track that All right, we're going to charge up here. Wow. That's brutal. I wish there was a way for you to be able to tell that. All right. So now, um, I'm going to start it up. Turn on the lights. I'm going to go to the charge station. Hit me. And... Looks good. Alright, let's go. I have no problem with that happening Alex but I prefer if games are going to do that if they show you by making the max durability of the item decrease so that you can just tell like you know what I've repaired this one too many times and know when to switch as opposed to like 
no, you can repair it to max, but it's not really max because there's a hidden stat. Okay, there's an anchor right by me, which we're going to pick up. Oh. Bunny. Well, I mean, totally, but, like, you're talking about a game about car maintenance. Like, you, you keep track of, um all of the stats in your log, you have a way, you have many diagnostic tools within the garage. If Even if only at the garage it showed you what it was, that's fine, but there needs to be a way to scan it and figure it out, given the tools that you have. Because you have, like, I mean, the the lady, Oppie, gives you, like, a, you know, Ghostbusters headset in the beginning of the game. So, it'd be cool if that worked for you. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, so, I can't... Uh, I'm too close to this gateway. I'm going to turn around... next zone but how do i get to the next zone i want to go to the next zone but all the exits are closed south yeah that would be cool undead the arrow oh this thing but that isn't that the entry arrow that's just where i came in right Arrival road is what that is. It's not an exit road. I think I must have messed up. The only thing I can do is go to a gate. Yeah, I must have selected the wrong zone. That's all right. We'll get there. <laughs> Good one, Crispy. Pouch potato indeed. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. You got me. All right, let me look at the map. How close am I? Here we go. Hit it. Floor it. Oh. My. God. Yeah, exactly. I heard the siren, so it's like, let's go. Oh, well, there's some plasma. Oh, boy. Oh, God, that's too many trees. Oh, boy. Gas station time. Wait, no. Not gas station time. Woo! Okay, few, just a few trees. This is totally normal.
All right. Well, that was. I did. That was interesting. All right. We we've got some anomalies. We got all kind or uh, some quirks. We got a lot of work we got to do, but we made it. We're back. Um, go ahead and fix me. Let's fuel up. Heck yeah. Okay. All right, and open it up. Uh, here, let's get the trunk. Hit that battery. Oh, that's right. My oh no, that's the side storage. No, I don't want that. Do do do. Yeah, you know what? Too much carbs. That's actually not a bad idea. The storm is just so brutal. Okay, looks good. Did I put anything over there? I did not. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Espanol. Wonderful. I have four repair putties in here in my storage. Great. Oh, you're right. You know what? I was like hoarding this stuff. All right. So we do need to fix some. This we're going to replace. Um, but. I don't have any spare insulated panels right now. So I think I'm going to have to throw together just use some repair putty to fix things up a bit all right let me see about making some panels oh also let's just check the old upgrades personal airbag yeah all right Yeah, I do have plenty. All right, let's see. Available. Here, I, yeah, I want to make the extra side rack, actually. Might as well. Should be on this side. There we go. Uh, I like the idea of perhaps the mini turbine. It's funny. I want to get in here. I never cracked this code. Is the... The code lying around or is it a quest that, like, gives it to you? A little gas out here, that's about it. This quest? Oh. Okay, cool. Great. Thank you. Well, that answers that. Alright, let's go. Workbench. Give me a insulated panel. Can I make another one? Just one, though. I need a better bumper. All right, I need, let's see here. Do 
Well, we did talk about this. Oh, I didn't finish it. There it is. Look at this. It looks like a DIY dream job car. Like, I shop at Radio Shack 100% car. Nah, McFly doesn't, Heath Run. Nero, good evening. Dude, the Radio Shack, I mean, it was so good the amount of doodads you could get in there. Alright. Alright, let's fix up the old car. Alright, so this thing is awful. We can, we can all agree on that. I could make a new bumper. Headlight, I'm not as sure about. I don't think I can actually repair this. <laughs> Undead, exactly. Man, Inspector Gadget was so good. That theme song was killer. All right, let's see if I can get this quirk fixed here. I'm going to say... Um, headlights. No, no, wait. Um, let's see if it's like... Steering wheel... Swerves hard. Headlights... Flicker. Okay, so steering wheel and headlights is correct. So we're going to change um, this one. Uh, stays turning. Exactly. Headlights. Dim. Got it. Sweet. And then fixes. Um, light replacement kit. Alright, we gotta get that. No problem. We resolved it. Alright, fantastic. Now we just have this other one. We don't know what it is, but we're doing okay. Right, I'm gonna make a new headlight. I actually don't have enough copper wire. Woof. Alright. Oh, does it? Thank you.
trip report. Here it is. Times quirk triggered 65. All right, so there's another quirk that I'm not sure about, but it ain't good. All right, let me hit my, my lightning rod is damaged. All right. Hit it. And then... One second. Oh, thank you. There's a computer outside for copper wire. Perfect. Thank you. Let me, um, let me put this stuff back. Let me go get a steel bumper. Switch this steel bumper. Fix this one. Recording indeed. All right, so there's a computer and a radio out back is what you guys are telling me. Um, oh, I see. Thank you. Is the radio on the by the toolbox? Oh, no, it's right here. Great. Perfect. All right, I need to make fix this headlight. I never even thought about that, Carbs. Thank you for the tip that you can make a better scrapper and a better impact hammer and stuff. I gotta even look into that. Nothing. Let me see where that even is. Plasma scrapper. Oh, I need that. Um, corrupted energy. Unstable energy. Alright, yeah. I need the better energy, so I gotta get to the mid zone. Let me see. My pry bar is nearly dead. So I'm just going to kind of scrap it. And then I'll build another one. I like having a flare gun. How are we doing in the backpack here? Put some stuff away. I always do that. No, it sounds great, Carbs. I would love to have some better tools. Thank you for, yeah, exactly, helping me think about where to go next. Because I'm sure once I start getting that unstable energy, I'll be a bit like a kid in a candy store. Uh, I need a new impact hammer. I need a new scrapper. I'm just going to get rid of these things. I know that the... Uh, Dumpster gave me a scrapper, but I'll take a fresh one. All right. All right, now I feel better. So if we look at our car, the hatch is open, but pretty much everything is good. We do have some quirks. 
Um, All right, let's see here. What I'm going to do is look at my diagnostics. And I'm going to say, you know, I have no idea. What does investigate do again? Does it give you a tell you which one it is for that category? Hint found. It's car. Okay. So car. Um, moves fast. Dome light. Switch. I don't know. Toggles. No. They don't like any of that. Huh, car is on an incline. Shifter toggles. No. Um... I don't think the wipers do anything. That ain't it. Ooh, it is something with headlights. No. Yes, we got it. How about that? That was lucky. All right. Um, I need a light replacement kit. Okay, great. Wow, I can fix all my quirks. It feels like it's been years. That's a positive quirk. Oh, no. I didn't even know that that was possible. I just was like, fix it. So you're saying it just helps get you brighter headlights? It doesn't give, doesn't take any extra battery power? Okay, well, now I know about that. Goodness gracious, I was too quick. You're right. You're right. I thought, I just, just like incorrectly assumed that it came, um, that either... It took more battery power, was harder on your lights, or that some of the quirks, like, have other negatives that you don't even see, but, no. I ruined it. Alright, here. I expect that this trip is going to be tough. So I'm going to fully patch myself up. Not fully, but really well. Alright. Let's go. Let me not mess up this time. So what I'm going to do now is go over here. The only way to get here. You know what? Um, I think I know what happened. Um, I had never been to this G3 before. So I think I couldn't go to the next zone until I plotted it after having discovered this. So I think I had to go here to get here, if that makes sense. 
So it w I plotted the right direction, but I couldn't select this as a target until I had cleared this. Um, so now we can do it. Yeah, because I thought I had selected the right direction. I was like, well, I did everything right. But initially, I tried to select the quest icon, and it wouldn't let me. So I just picked the nearest road possible that connected to it, thinking that when I got there, the road would be open, but it wasn't. I have to do it this way. No problem. All right. I mean, there's a problem in the fact that this is a high instability zone. <laughs> What's wrong with that? What could go wrong? All right, actually, let me pause. Perpetual stability, that's so good. Um, I'm going to pick up this anchor on the way. I don't really see why not. Some plasma, too. Ah, just burning hot vents. Could go wrong here. There it is, there it is. Now this is all plastic. All right, well. Here we go, here we go. Need that thermosap. All right. No problem, we're gonna make this. Oh my God. I think a mannequin appeared right next to me. After I took the anchor, that's rude. I'm healing up. All right, let's go. And now we just need to take a right turn and then another right turn. I'm going to set the uh, here, look at this. There you go. Let's go. Oof. I hate to do this, but I can't say no. I need plasma. For science indeed. I ran out of uh, plasma. Oh, God. There we go. That little copper wire. Good stuff. Only the best.
Alright. Oh, did I break my flare gun already? I gotta make another one. I love the flare gun for dealing with mannequins. Oh no, this I can't craft anyway. Alright, well, let's go. Go. Right turn. All right, I stopped for every treasure box. There's just no way that I'm not gonna get it. Putting it back. All right, we're gonna drop this in here. Put all this stuff in there. Great. Put it in these, like, decals. I keep trying to just get in and drive. The parking thing has made my life so much better that I'm artificially inflating it to something even greater. Yes, wouldn't that be great? Weeping angels, indeed. Don't blow up. Don't do it. Okay. Oh, there's one of those high-speed guys on top of that ramp. That's a pretty sweet situation. Uh oh. It's the bunnies. Alright. Pretty sure I sent them off into oblivion with my. It really is telling you that. It's like, go for it. I think I missed a turn, so this is going to have to do. Yeah, this is fine. Just, what's a few trees? Hey, Grey Warden. How's it going? Thank you for subscribing. We're fine. Oh, God. We're not fine. Barrel of fuel. I don't know if I can make it up this incline, but I'm trying. That looks like a no. It looks like a we almost had it, but we didn't. Aww. Don't do this to me. Let's try to do this gradually. There we go. Oh boy. Fatigue. 
Is that personal fatigue? Oh, well, we made it. You're tired. I know, I need more horses. I need about 200 more horses. We got there. Easy. Easy money. Alright, so we're here. Getting closer to our eventual nightmarish passage. All right, we're in. All right, I'm going to go here. Look at this. And we need to go here, but I'm going to try and pick up... Ah, do I want to pick that up? No, you know what? I'm going to chicken out. I'm just going to try to get to the mid zone. I keep getting distracted. Oh, I got a low tire. It's the tire I wanted to replace, but I don't know if I had the right stuff. Oh, I haven't I haven't collected anything. Okay, that's a problem. I forgot to bring the ceiling kit. All right, so we're gonna need to actually go collect some stuff. I'm kind of being more selective. Well, I'm gonna try to get as close as I can. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the map. I'm going to go to this anchor then. I wasn't planning on it, but I need to go to these houses and get stuff. You could hit me with electricity if you want. I got the the stuff that benefits from it a little bit, so That's a lot of upset mannequins. All right, here we go. Park it. Let's just collect some stuff. Now that's a no. How close are we to the the juice here? Show me. Okay. There's actually also a house across the way. Let's go here. Ooh, this is radio radiation house, but that's okay. We can just pick up the stuff. Take a little damage. Uh-huh. All right. I'm going to put this stuff away. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know if I've been into a Gap store in... 
I can't even remember. I actually don't know if I've ever purchased anything from the Gap. I think I've only gone there back when, you know, I was a kid and I never had enough money. Uh-oh. That was... Oh, my God. you imagine running through this nightmare and seeing an electrified crash test dummy just that wasn't there a moment ago standing in front of you? Unbelievable. Sure. Put it there. All right. Now, is that enough, actually, for me to make... Did I get the good stuff for the ceiling kit yet? Almost. I need some rubber, so I gotta find a car and just bust up the tires. Alright, so now let's change the map, and let's go back to here. Alright, so this road, will it take me there... Uh, not that way. We have to turn left and then turn right. Mm -hmm. Ow. Oh, there's a big dance here, actually. Okay, good. Let me uh, stop. And let me do this. So here's what we're going to do. I need to uh, pry this panel up. No rubber immediately, but sometimes there's a tire. Here we go. Uh, okay. I tell you what. Yes, exactly, Kmart. Okay, it's... Whoa, that's too much radiation. Marshalls. Kmart. Stuff like that, Crispy. Uh-oh, storm's coming. Okay. Uh, we gotta go. So we gotta take a right as soon as we get to this light. For this intersection and go. Try to leave this storm behind. Okay. Oh, boy. Hi. We have a small issue with the battery. Small. Oh, cool. Okay. I will try that. Good thing is we get to go to a totally safe zone. Oh, no. Alright, so it's got eerie darkness, which I don't like to see. 
Uh, swift storm, bad. Disruptive discharge, also bad. We were just in this zone. All right, so we can just take the the dirt road here and make it. Let me see if I got enough rubber to craft that sealant kit. No, I think I need one more. I have two. I'm going to eat the f MRE... I think that's 12 food, and then I'll eat this canned food, and we should be just about healed up. Yeah, Old Navy does have some deals. I just try to avoid buying clothes pretty much altogether. Like, I hold on to stuff for years. Okay, I missed... No, I didn't miss the turn. It's this way. Is that the best one? It sounds good. Isn't it like that, though? There's always a best one. Like, you know, at your school lunch, there was always one school lunch that everybody was actually, at least in my cafeterias, that everybody was actually excited about. And then most of the other ones were like, you know, uh, and then some of them were like, oh, God. We had this at my cafeteria when I was like in middle school and high school. They had this thing that was kind of like a Mexican pizza that they called a fiestada. And it was like by far and away everybody's favorite. People wanted it so bad. They'd be like in a great mood all around the whole school like it's fiestada day today. I actually thought it was terrible. So I was not really excited about it, but everybody else really was thrilled. All right. Um, no rubber? Come on. That was... I needed that. Oh, I did get one. Yes. I think I can make that ceiling kit now. Oh, God. Here it comes. Okay. Uh, let's go. Storm's coming. Oh no, this thing is absolutely wrecked now. It's bald and blown out. There's nothing I could do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I make a new tire? Uh, we did more rubber. Okay, I'm going to have to find a new tire on another car. Let's go. Let's just try to blow through this zone. And if there's a car... Um... Oh, man. Uh-oh. He's going to get us. I had to zap him. Okay, let's go. Uh oh I got another bad tire on the other side. All right, well, let's try to fix that one. I know. Oh no, not the right tire.
I'm just going to say that that helped me. Well, I'm trying to find a safe place, Alex. It's, uh, it's been rough. For me in safe places. Oh no, it's, uh... It needs a mechanics kit. I actually have that. No, I don't. I lied. I usually have that. Okay. Craft it. Got it. Let's go. All right, everybody. You want a bad idea? Here it comes. Okay, that ended pretty quickly. <laughs> there went the bumper. Oh, that was sweet. Right into a tree. I'm glad we tried it. It was worth it. I just replaced that bumper. Um, okay. I'm not even going to bother with the switchback. I'm just going to drive. Well, I might need to bother with the switchback. Okay, wait. Is it right from here? Yes, it is. Okay. That would be sweet, Undead. You mean if I could, like, um, ride my car onto a jet? Are you talking about Die Hard 4 or different Die Hard? This is happening, everybody. You think this is a bad idea? Because I do. Okay, I didn't mean to do all of that, but I did it. And pick this up. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Yes, undead, exactly. That would be sweet. Okay. So, I had to, t to use a spare tire. It's such a bad tire. But I don't think there's anything I could even do with this, actually, this off-road tire. I think it's so beat up that it's worthless. I'm not thrilled about what I've just done, but I did it. Oh, I left the back open. There's a lot of... I made a lot of mistakes. The tire is flat. Okay. Um, you're right, it is. I have this, the kit, though. I'm going to do a couple of things, then. We're going to seal it. Puff. And then we're going to get out the uh, repair putty. Oops. We got to fix this bumper that I destroyed. All 
All right. Better. Kind of. Um, anything in the trunk here? You could do both. You can fix them. You can craft them. But what I did was I used this thing called the Liberator, which lets you take parts off of an existing car so that I was able to use that car from the feet that part from the field basically it's not great but it's better than nothing I could craft it undead, but the problem was that I didn't have enough rubber. All right, so now we're going. Expansion wall. Deep crossing. Alright, so here's the wall right here, I guess. And this is where I need to get, is over here. Maybe? Now there's a treasure chest over... Oh, bunnies. Okay. So I shot those bunnies off with my electric... Oh, there's some... Some rubber. Hi, broken bunny. How you doing? You got anything good for me? Eh, could have been worse. So speaking of tires, like if I wanted to make one, I can make none. I need a little bit more. All I can make is the spare tire, which is what I have. I have to have a better workbench to make more. All right, here we go. I, I want to keep going, but I'm such a loot fool. I want this. And if I can get enough good stuff, this might be worth it. This is a battery jumper. I was going to use my battery jumper, so it's really nice to find one. Rubber is also good. All right. I'm just going to use this battery jumper right now. My battery actually wasn't in the worst shape, but now it's much better. I don't want anything going wrong. Okay. Well, here's a gas station, too. Maybe even some chemicals while we're at it. So if I had another sealant kit, I could try to fix the glass on the back of my car. I don't believe I do. 
Uh, this is going to be some radiation. Hey, Tom Bombadil. Thanks for following, my friend. The first one there and the last one to leave, huh? Tom Bombadil was always one of my favorite characters in Lord of the Rings. Thought he was awesome. Alright, let's see if Big Dan actually has gas. He usually does. We can use that. I'm going to What's that green thing? That does something for you. Is it a healing station? I can't recall. Beating heart. Now, usually when something's called a beating heart, you want to run right up to it. Heals car with hugs. Great. Well, my car could use some hugs. Uh-oh. Getting stopped by this fence. All right, here's what we're going to do. Open this, open that, push all that in there. All right. Let's hop in. I'm gonna, um, I'm low on gas, so let's get some. Not a ton here, but better than nothing. Oh, never mind. It was more than enough to fill me up. All right, here we go. Beating heart. I'm going to double check it. It has a plus sign. I'm going to go check it. Yep. It's fixing us.
All right. So it definitely healed us. Back of the car is still a little banged up, but we're okay. Much better than we were. We'll take it. All right. And on the map, we are going the right way. We're going to eventually arrive at something where we want to go straight through the the wall because we see an opening here's another beating heart there's the expansion wall which separates the outer zone from the mid zone and more importantly us from those two idiots this will get you one step closer to the deep zone it's far past its prime so watch your step it feels like they're healing me up intentionally because they know I'm going to get wrecked. And I don't know what to say about that. Alright. So this is, I guess, where I'm supposed to go? Into this sewer... All right. Well, we could grab a gate thing while we're here. Seems like a really smart thing to do. We're going into number two. Yeah, yeah. I know, Undead. It's ominous. Here we go. We're going to go over here. I'm going to put that in there because it's great. <laughs> I'm thrilled with this. Okay. Here we go. Uh-oh. Get out of here. That limb pulse emitter is just gangbusters. Yep, driving into the old tube here. It is flat. You're right about that. Let me try to fix it when I get in here. Ceiling kit. All right. Do I have any? Make one. Okay. We are still alive. This is a big pipe. Uh, I guess this way, along the train tracks. There's loot in there. God, I'm such a idiot, but I'm going for it. I'm going to pretend like I am going to find some just exceptional stuff in here. Tape. No. Hey, Nicole. Good evening. Good to see you. Alright, we're going to go over here and I'm going to loot this too. I'm actually going to use this. 
Eat some food. Heal up. Break the radio. What kind of derelicts were in here jamming out to their CD player? You monsters. Here we go. Hey, Nick, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these mannequins. All right. We're going over this way. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I see mannequins. I see some loot and some plasma, but I'm just going to try to scrape by. Chef Smitty, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Squatters, indeed. Normally, I would just... Oh, my goodness. Look at this conga line. All right, fine. Normally, I would just be looting everything, but I want to get there so badly that um, I'm trying to be reasonable and actually focus on a goal. All right, so I don't have a flare gun, but I do have flares. So let's go ahead and um, equip these and just kind of... Oh, you gotta light it. Woo! Okay. There's the thermo crystal. That was an explosion. Oh, more thermo crystal. I'll go get it. I'll bite. This is copper wire, plasma, good stuff. So I'm going to take a look at the map again. And my headlights are intense. And what we're going to do is uh, see if we're where we are. So I'm following the train tracks. I should come out and pick up this road to go over here. So that's my plan. I don't know if this actually works. We'll find out. Should be a way out to the left up here. Yeah, I think I can just curl up this way. Ooh, a little bumpy. Uh-huh. Okay. Gonna follow the the lights and these steel plates. Okay. Well that's not quite right. This way. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh. 
almost there. Okay, so now we have made it here and they want us to go over here. Okay. So they want us to get to this green area. Activate a stabilizer. Hello, Welcome to our side of the wall. Oh, what's this? Your connection swampy is jam. Uh, uh, worry not. Our signal is crystal clear. Oh. Obvious, don't you think? <laughs> right, ask me if I can. Yeah, the mid zone's been marinating in all this radiation for so long. Things don't work the same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you, no sweat. <clears throat> first things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage. Otherwise, Avi's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid-zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around. You should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. Okay. Alex is telling me to loot a little bit in here because presumably the the stuff is better. We can find some, you know, newish items that we d didn't have access to before. Oh boy. Um This is not the right way. I need to stay on the road, but the road looks blocked. It is okay. Giant orb. Salamander grotto. Oh my god. Marsh eggs. Oh. I need these for crafting. Okay, I know I need like swamp guck or something. Yeah, okay, sure. I don't think I can do anything to that. Okay. All right, sweet. I got a bunch of that stuff. Excellent. All right, we're going to go this way. He said go up a hill. And it's kind of to the right. I don't know how deep this water is, though. It's doable. Not deep at all, yeah. Okay, so this is the place that we need to go. It's got a fence. We'll just crash through it. Yeah, it's not a bad idea.
Okay. Stabilized it. Storm's coming? Shouldn't I just go? Yeah, I was going to say. Alright, so it is uh, straight ahead to the other side. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I hear the sirens. We got to go. Alright, I need to go to this way. Yeah, you did tell me to get the anchors. I thought you meant after I stabilized the zone, not, um, and then popping the gate ended the quest from the anchors, not that. No, you did. It's all right. Let's just finish the quest alive. Oh, okay, my fault. No, I misunderstood. Uh-oh. I see it. Okay. It's honestly good for me anyway. I'm I'm up really late, so this will help me not stay up so late that my body starts melting. All right, all right, all right, all right. I was going to go get the other anchor, but I just don't have it in me. It is closing in fast. I just, um, I was going to get one more and I saw it and I was like, I got to get out. It's scary. Oh boy. Ooh, I almost didn't make it. I almost did not make that. But we got it. How about that? Wow. Poppy was hiding a magic teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? Start a connection once you do us a little favor. We suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. Hilarious, Undead. No, it doesn't. It's a bad tire for me. All right, I've I've identified the electrical circuit for the garage's security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this, hey, bingo, that security lock's powered on now. We try that overload code from the observation towers. 0735. 0735. Oh, 
Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppy was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. Oh, okay, secret door. Arc dock. Retrieve the hard drive. Oh, okay, I don't need that. Send the drive to Tobias and boy, Francis. Boy. trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Drive, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. He tagged a route for us. Fantastic. All right, so we got a route tagged. And what does that mean? That means that we can actually go to the mid zone. We unlocked that. We've got a bunch more stuff to do here as well. Uh, we can. We even have a little bit of instability. Not um, unstable energy. Not enough to do anything with it. Uh, but we are getting... We're in a position where we can go actually farm that those anchors... Uh, to make more progress. Everyone, I want to say thank you so much for coming out to the stream tonight. It is my bedtime. I stayed up a little late because I wanted to finish that mission, but we did it. I'm so pumped that we made it. Our car is looking really good. I do have to do a bunch of repairs before we go out, but that's just normal. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day and a fantastic weekend. Let me know how... Dragon's Dogma 2 is, if anybody gets it, uh, either on YouTube or on Discord. I'm curious. Undead, Alex, Heathrun, thank you again for the super chat, my friend. Tom Bombadil, Grey Warden, Crispy Bacon, R Rinny, Too Much Carbs, Nero, Nick Man. Everybody out there, take care. Have a great one.